Welcome out to Spillane Field, everybody. It's the Jake and Jake pregame show here on the Cape Cod Baseball League Network alongside Jake Garcia. I'm Jacob Toby as the Gateman will take on the Whitey Red Sox tonight. Jake, a good win for Wareham last night. Maybe their best one of the season. Eight unanswered runs and an 8-5 to win versus Chatham. Yeah, we were postulating on the postgame show last night whether or not it was Wareham's best win of the season. I'm inclined to believe it was. Like you said, eight unanswered runs after trailing by five early on in the game against a Chatham team that so far this season hasn't pitched all too terribly. Their offense has been what's really held them back. So sported a five-run lead. You would expect them to at least be a little bit more competitive with that. Instead, the Wareham bats came alive. They struck for 13 hits, which was tied for their fourth most of the season and the most for this Wareham team since July 6th against the same Chatham Anglers. A great offensive performance last night up and down the lineup. Don't forget about Ryan Selmer, who closed the door on the ball game. Three-plus innings of relief work and six strikeouts. Yeah, Selmer looked really good. Also, why do you Red Sox come in tonight at top of the Eastern Division. This is another chance for the Gateman to prove themselves against a top, top team in the East. Yeah, Wareham has a three-game winning streak now against members of the Eastern Division. Chatham, Orleans, and then top place Harwich. Now YD's in first place, though. It'll be interesting tonight to see how Wareham fares against their starting pitcher, a very talented one at that, Eric Ullman out of uh, Cal Poly. So for these two teams tonight, the onus will be on who can jump out first, who can set the momentum, and for Wareham building off the momentum they set last night. Now I'll send it over to the third member of our broadcast team, Andre Sims. He's going to talk about Cole Freeman. Thanks, guys. It's no secret that Cole Freeman has been a spark plug for this team offensively since his arrival a few weeks ago. And after a 3-for-5 outing yesterday, he's amassed the necessary plate appearances to qualify for a batting title. His average currently sits at 388, and should he continue to hold the top spot this season, it'll be the Gateman's second consecutive batting title after Andrew Kalika led the league in batting average last season. Back to you guys.